Hi, this is Aaron from Software Explain, and I've done videos before on the USB problem connecting my Nexus 5, my Android phone, to my PC. I've just updated now to Marshmallow, Android 6.0, and I've got the same problem again. And they've moved things around, and it took me a while to find it, and I'd just like to share this video for you and anyone else that is having problem connecting their phone via USB on Android 6.0. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I've got my phone already connected here and I'll just take you through a few settings and that should hopefully clear up the problems. So right now I am successfully connected to my PC, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get in. I'll just double click on Nexus 5 so I've, I can get into my internal storage at the moment. But how did I do that? Because some of you might be thinking, well, how did he do it? Because I couldn't do it yesterday. So what I did was as follows. Back to the phone. Let me just turn that back on. Okay. So I'll just drag down from the top, swipe down from the top, and I'll swipe down from the top again. And I will click on settings. And over here, uh, it's a bit slow. Okay, there we are. So first of all, what you've got to do is you've got to click on developer options. That's this one down here. You've got to click on it seven times to become a developer. I already am a developer, so I don't have to click on it seven times, but you can if you're not. And then you're going to scroll down just a little bit, and you're going to turn on what is called USB debugging. And there it is. It's already on online. But you've got to turn that on. So that's towards the top. you just got to um, scroll down a little bit. And when you turn on USB debugging, you'll get a confirmation screen which looks like this. Allow USB debugging. I'll just check that for always allow from this computer and click OK. And then you're in USB debugging mode is on. So that's important to keep on. And then if we scroll down further, about halfway down, uh, let me find it. OK, select USB configuration. This is really, really important. Now, I've got the right one up set at the moment, which is MTP, Media Transfer Protocol. That's great. If you haven't checked that, check it now, and that's going to allow you to get into your files from your PC on your Android phone. Also, another thing that I'll show you that you can do each time you connect your phone is to make sure down here where it says USB file for transfer, just click on that, and then you'll see what normally happens is it defaults to charging only. Make sure transfer files MTP is checked, and then you can successfully go into your files and directories and do whatever you want over here. I've got files and directories. You can do all that. So I hope that helps. If it did, please give us a thumbs up, and stay tuned until next time. Bye for now.